Well, and I am back. I am Hilda Wadidi, and you are watching Entrepreneurship Tuesday only on Why in the Morning. And with me in studio, I have a lady who's going to let you know how to do it yourself. When it comes to skincare, when it comes to makeup, do it yourself. Stop wasting money in these streets. But anyway, it's about time I introduce you to D Kamau, the brand. And she's here with us in studio to share her story. And yes, I will allow her to say good morning to you. If you do want to participate in the conversation, do remember our Twitter handle is at Why. Y254 channel, the hashtag is Y in the morning. On Facebook, we're at Y254. On Instagram, we're at Y254 underscore channel. So do slide into our DM. And just in case you miss the valuable insight here, do find us on YouTube at Y254 channel. Dorothy Kamal, say good morning to the Y in the morning family. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Karibu Sana Studio. Asante Sana. So I would like to understand, why did you get into skincare? Uh, actually, it was a... Uh, Funny story, mm -hmm. I was first into makeup mm -hmm. and then I realized I didn't enjoy makeup because I was doing it as a necessity more and more and less of something that I, I should enjoy. Uh -huh. So I thought the problem was actually my skin because mm -hmm. I was trying to cover up my yes. skin issues mm. with makeup. Me too. So then I did <laughs> a reverse uh -huh. and decided to first start taking care of my skin. Mm -hmm. Then I can enjoy makeup. So that's how I got into skincare. Okay, so what, so what are some of these challenges that you said that you saw with your skin you, you, that you had to cover up? Actually, you're right. M many chicks right now apply makeup to cover up, not right. really because they're enjoying it so much. Yes. So I understand what are some of these blemishes or skincare uh, problems or concerns that enabled you to, to, to change things up a bit? Um, at the time, I didn't know, but I had adult acne. A oh. lot of ladies have adult acne, but they think they have sensitive skin, they're mm -hmm. having an issue, mm -hmm. they have um, a breakout or they're uh -huh. going through something. Mm -hmm. But adult acne is very real and it happens mm -hmm. at your prime, you know, between 23 and 32. Mm -hmm. And that's where um, the problem is because mm -hmm. you don't treat it as... Um, not a disease per se, but a skill, skin condition. A skin problem, yeah. Yeah, so you just think it's something I ate, something I, a product I used, but it's from inside out. So oh. it just goes on and on and on because you're not treating the root of the problem. So that's what happened with me. Uh -huh. I just started getting breakouts and they're not going away. Mm -hmm. And especially because it's hormonal mm -hmm. for women, mm -hmm. um, it comes every month. I'm, it exists aggravates itself every month wait so, so these things visually tell ourselves you think it's 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 about that time of the month kumbe it is actually adult acne yeah because <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. for some people mm -hmm. you know when you have when you're going through your your monthly issues yes you assume <laughs> that your your reactions are related yes, to that you mm -hmm. get that but mm -hmm. other people it just it just keeps going. It mm -hmm. doesn't go away. Mm -hmm. So you sh I advise most of my clients to just go and see a dermatologist, mm -hmm. get to the root, and then now start working externally. So that's that's why I um, I got into skincare. Once mm -hmm. I understood that, and I was dealing with it for many years, mm -hmm. I thought I could have saved myself four years of pain and suffering and <laughs> and a lot of makeup <laughs> oh yeah someone would ring my bell and i'd have to go and mm -hmm. you know throw in foundation because i didn't want anyone to see my spots and blemishes <laughs> and i thought no I, there has to be a better way but it was not going away mm -hmm. so that's that's how it was it must have been very uh, refreshing so i'd like to talk about uh, some of the misconceptions like you have said when it comes to skincare um um People say that, um, oh, my skin, so long as I'm not using any harsh products, if I'm drinking a lot of water, I'm good. So for you, what's a skincare routine? What should it look like? Even if you don't have any condition, but on a daily basis, when you wake up in the morning, what should you do? Mm. Your skin is the largest organ you have. Oh, so yes. it has needs, major needs. First, mm -hmm. the biggest one is hydration mm -hmm. and then moisture. Mm -hmm. So it needs, it needs that. Mm -hmm. But for you, before you hydrate your skin, before you moisturize your skin mm -hmm. you need to be able to clean it mm -hmm. so it's a whole the, the most basic thing you can do for your skin is clean mm -hmm. and then moisturize it and mm -hmm. then now from the inside is hydrate mm -hmm. with water of course and mm -hmm. uh, fruits mm -hmm. so a basic um, makeup routine for me I mean ah, sorry skincare routine, routine mm -hmm. would be to cleanse mm -hmm. and and once a week deep cleanse mm -hmm. and then moisturize and um, mm -hmm. 
that's it um you mm-hmm. don't even have to go into the toning mm-hmm. if you don't have any conditions mm-hmm. just keep it simple mm-hmm. and that way you can be consistent keep it simple yes cleanse detox Yes. I'm seeing your Instagram page has been pulled up, uh, Beauty by D. And I've seen one particular image where you look like you're crying, and I would like to know what was <laughs> happening. Uh, please, oh please just scroll down. I saw it somewhere in the corner. If you could just take it up a bit. Yes. Yes. Chini Kidogo. It should be at the chini Kidogo. bottom. Yes. Chini, 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 chini. Chini. It's somewhere at the bottom there. Chini, t- chini Tena. <laughs> chini. Keep Go going, keep going, down. keep going all the way down. Yes. Yeah. Keep going. I can see I can see somebody broke down here and we'd like to understand <laughs> that it's, it has caught my attention. Please, please, again. Uh-huh. Keep going, keep going. We're almost there. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. We've done a whole tour. <laughs> yes, we have toured your page indeed. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. It's all the way at the bottom, yes, actually. Yes, it's at the bottom. Yes, yeah. I've seen it there. Um, yeah. There. Yeah, right yes, there. I can see a video of you looking very miserable. <laughs> what, what, what was going on? <laughs> actually, if you, if you watch the video, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, um, I, think I was taking off my makeup. Uh-huh. And then, you know, I, I got to a point where I removed my eye makeup mm-hmm. and it was a disaster. So I just did a face. <laughs> And uh, so I think wa- oh, oh, so it wasn't really crying. It no, was just <laughs> 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 I was just trying to spice up the uh-huh. the the video, uh-huh. and also I think what on social media it's called a like clickbait. Oh, so yeah, clickbait. Uh, yeah, indeed. so I, it, it got people to click. This was this was my <laughs> most popular uh, video. So it far. also just got my attention, <laughs> and I saw it at the corner of my eyes. Like, what's going on here? Yeah. So this is just a night. Uh, skincare routine, very lazy, mm-hmm. but just making sure you take your makeup off. Mm-hmm. Even if you don't wear makeup, mm-hmm. just have a night skincare routine because that's the that's the point where your skin is renewing itself. Uh-huh. And if it has nothing to work with, mm-hmm. then it it just you know it it oh. might thrive better if you if you give it something to nourish the skin as you sleep. Oh, I like the fact that you mentioned that it's not enough to just do your beauty routine or your skincare routine in the morning. It also has to be done at night. Yes. So take us through the night process. What should you do? What is the procedure? The first thing I'd mm-hmm. say, even if you do not wear makeup, mm-hmm. make sure you remove all the pollution. You know, there's dust, there's smoke, ah. all these things. There's a lot of buildup. You're touching your face. Yes. Your hands are dirty. Yes. So you have to remove that. Oh. Um, mm-hmm. You can use something as simple as coconut oil mm-hmm. or olive oil. Mm-hmm. And oil makes sh- makes sure that you're, s- you know, it pulls out the mm-hmm. dirt. Mm-hmm. And of course, if you have um, make uh, beauty, pro- I mean, skincare products that you're using, mm-hmm. so you cleanse, you remove that, mm-hmm. and then you moisturize again. Oh, you cleanse and then you moisturize again. Yes. Goodness, you know most people, most people would uh, would wonder like, where do I get the time? How long does this <laughs> take? <laughs> it should, like I said, if mm-hmm. you keep it simple, then you're able to be consistent. But if mm. you start buying everything, uh, I want a cleanser, I want this, this and this, then you end up feeling lazy yes. to do it. When mm-hmm. you think about the the routine that you have to go through, yes, mm-hmm. like twenty minutes, I don't have. I'm just going to sleep like mm-hmm. that. Just wash your face and add uh, a moisturizer and go to bed you don't have to just keep it simple yes. you don't have to keep doing all this i find that when you keep it simple uh-huh. it's it's easy to just go back and do it over and over again okay so tell us about branding when why, why did you decide you wanted to turn this into a kind of business why uh so mm-hmm. at first it was something i enjoyed mm-hmm. doing and uh then i realized mm-hmm. a lot of my time was going into that mm-hmm. and uh because I like to keep myself busy, mm-hmm. I thought if I'm keeping myself busy with this, with this, with this one, then it has to be making me uh, money or some sort of return. I see. Because you get tired also. You're just doing it because you love it. At some point, you have to. I mean, when you get to a certain age, mm-hmm. you have to start thinking mm-hmm. how something that you enjoy can make you money. You know, turn your passion into a paycheck. Yeah, turn your passion thing. into a paycheck. <laughs> yes. And I like the fact that you've highlighted that time is money. If, yes. you're, if you're consuming a lot of time doing something, you'd better start making you some money anytime soon, or you're just wasting your time. And then we have um, branding. When it comes to branding, I can see your page is very well uh, put out, and I can see your naturalista over here. What was happening this photo shoot? I can see a whole Maasai. What was happening here? Early last year, I decided to just... Chop it off. Chop it all off. Hey. Uh, 
actually a lot of people don't know this but mm. i did it because i was having um a, a skin care uh, issue oh yeah my my hair i was just uh, losing hair it's called alopecia mm -hmm. most men have it uh, alopecia what's that you have you have uh patches on your scalp where hair can hair is not is hair not can't growing grow, yeah. yes so i was having that at first i thought it was a fungal infection mm -hmm. then i realized it was alopecia and then i thought let me start from zero mm -hmm. let me just cut my hair all off mm -hmm. and then and start from there working working it it kind of doesn't have a cure Mm -hmm. uh, it has a lot of it's, it's involved with a lot of cell manipulation mm -hmm. because your system, your immune system is attacking itself. Oh, so then it thinks you know this is how it needs to sort it out. Mm -hmm. So, but I just thought let me cut my hair, start from zero. It mm -hmm. wasn't uh, like a face or I was about to do something <laughs> dramatic. <laughs> you weren't trying to pull a Britney Spears. Uh, on no, it wasn't <laughs> that type of thing. <laughs> okay, so that's what it was. But I enjoyed mm -hmm. uh, this. I enjoyed this, mm -hmm. and uh, I still have short hair, even though right now. Uh, I like to to mix it up. You like to mix it up a but bit. But I I like this. Yes, you look very beautiful. <laughs> There's no doubt. It's anyway. good to mm -hmm. know that you can take. Yes. I felt by cutting my hair, I can take. It, but you know, alopecia has nothing on me. I can cut my hair and still feel good. Oh. So that's that's actually. So you what are basically telling the disease to hell with you. Uh, I'm yeah, still yeah. going to rock this. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Um, when it comes to personal branding and your social media pages and all that, what would you have for an entrepreneur out there who maybe does the same thing but doesn't know how to brand themselves online and get some clientele? Tell, take us through your marketing strategy. Uh, the first thing is, especially with social media, we are, we as humans, we love to share. Mm -hmm. So, when I at f when I started, mm -hmm. I was sharing everything there yeah. cute mm -hmm. photos of my nephew <laughs> and then mm -hmm. you know my myself doing makeup and mm -hmm. then me washing my face at night mm -hmm. so it was a mixture and i realized that it's better to separate that yeah. so keep your business your business and your personal life your personal life Ooh. so the first strategy is to separate the two mm -hmm. people can still see your personality mm -hmm. but when it's business when it's a brand keep it that way okay. so that's the that's the first rule i thought um when i started marketing and making this a business mm -hmm. is to separate the two mm -hmm. um okay what about what about um um your clientele when it comes to clientele how do you how do you how do you maintain customer what do you call it loyalty Yes. <laughs> <laughs> how yes, do you, how, why one. should I come back? Well, how do you? How do you? What's your procedure mm. when it comes to interacting with your clients? I have a very simple rule. Mm -hmm. I do my best every time. Oh. I give it my all every time. Uh -huh. And uh, I have a I have a small team. Mm -hmm. I always tell them, mm -hmm. regardless of how we're feeling mm -hmm. right now, yeah. let's go and do our best. Do our part. We go. And uh, for what i do mm -hmm. a lot of uh, the job is done very early in the morning like mm -hmm. bridal mm -hmm. so we wake up at four and we're like guess what at eight we'll be done then we can live our lives <laughs> so let's just go and do uh -huh. our best uh -huh. and then be done with it and that because of giving it my all mm -hmm. i find that a lot of my clients i get from referrals mm -hmm. so if i if i impress this uh, client mm -hmm. they're going to refer me to the next mm -hmm. and that is very powerful marketing mm -hmm. when someone you trust tells you no just go with her trust yes, me yes Th that's the end yeah. so i find just do your best every time mm -hmm. and you never know who's watching you never know uh, where it will take you mm -hmm. okay okay interesting um i'm glad that you said that uh, do your best and also the issue of the branding you put your personal life here and your business life right. on this other side okay when it comes to this particular industry are there any concerns that you have the first thing is people don't take this art um, as a business, oh. as a very as a serious business. Mm -hmm. It is serious business. It's growing, mm -hmm. but uh, it's taken a lot of time for people to look at um, beauty. Mm -hmm. And in terms of this section of beauty, uh, makeup and skincare, mm -hmm. um, as as a as a serious business. Mm -hmm. So even yourself, me as a as a you know, as a brand, as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. I just used to think it's a side thing, it's extra cash I have. You also never took it that seriously. Yes, until mm -hmm. you get to a point where I'm not growing. I'm mm -hmm. just, I keep pushing myself every day. I keep mm -hmm. doing my best, but I am not financially. When I want to buy a product, 
Mm -hmm. When I want to get somewhere, mm -hmm. I'm still digging deep. Mm -hmm. So people don't have business structures in place. Uh -huh. First, first and foremost, so I would advise to have a business structure in place, have a financial plan, you know, have a budget where you plan on doing this thing. Wait, business structure? Fin have a ba financial budget. What's a business structure? Like, how? what does your structure look like? <laughs> if I was to ask, like, because people are like, these things people just tell us, okay, what, what is it? What is that structure? What is this? Yes. So um, you have to pay yourself. Mm -hmm. First, the, the business part of it is not all the money you make mm -hmm. is for you to spend. Uh -huh. It's actually to grow the business. Uh -huh. So just have a, a small portion where you pay yourself so you feel like okay all this hard work I'm putting I can get myself this and this mm -hmm. but uh, pump the money back into the business. Also a structure in terms of even how you're going to spend the money yes. that you're making. Yes. Ah interesting. But then now that you mentioned a financial plan a lot of people uh, young people tend to have this excuse of no capital no capital no capital. When you came when you were starting yours was capital a factor? It was, mm -hmm. although I didn't think about it. Mm -hmm. I just used money I had somewhere mm -hmm. to make uh, my starter kit. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah, so I didn't think like, oh, I need capital to start this business. Because oh. it didn't start, you know, with a plan. There was no structure. I just found myself doing this, getting mm -hmm. busy. Mm -hmm. Then I'm like, wait, this is a business now. Mm -hmm. So, but at that point, I had to now start saving to be able mm -hmm. to invest more in the business. Mm -hmm. So I guess more saving that then that contributed, uh, that acted as a capital to expand the business. Ah, saving. Yes. I can see there's a clip over here running about your, uh, running to do with your routine. Yes. Can you tell me, can you explain what's happening? Oh, I can see, oh, whoa, that phone has a nice case. Wow. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> anyway, yes, yes. So. so I like to do one minute videos on um, Instagram. Mm -hmm. These are very popular because people just think, you know, it's it's just one minute. Let yeah. me just watch. Yeah. Uh, and I and in the process, I I, I throw in tips, mm -hmm. what I'm doing and what helps. Mm -hmm. And then I have links on the same on mm -hmm. YouTube where you know if you have time, you have four or five minutes, mm -hmm. you can go and watch in detail. Mm -hmm. uh, so that I I like that this um this makes me you know also push my. A, a promote, promote beauty your education yeah. uh, s a side of the business mm -hmm. so because a lot of my clients nowadays are, are really into taking care of their skin and mm -hmm. then doing their makeup properly mm -hmm. so this is just little bits and, and pieces where I throw in to encourage them to mm -hmm. practice more okay so for how long have you been doing this by the way how long has it taken you to get yourself to this point I would say Six years as a, as a Six business. Six years yes. of beauty yes. and skincare. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh -huh. So six years, although I started before as a, as a hobby in 2009. Oh. So when people were doing the 10 year challenge, I went back, dug my files and I was like, wait, it's been 10 years. Already? Yeah. Even I me, I was surprised. You know, <laughs> we were talking about 2008 just, and I was like, oh, oh my God, that's a decade ago. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. We are growing old. Anyway, it's okay. We are. There's no problem. Um, let's talk about um, the highlight of your career of this. Have you ever had a moment when you were like bath? No, I'm sure I'm doing the right thing. Or it was just your best day on the job. Let me put it like that. Was it someone you had done? Was it someone you had you had you had done of some makeup on? What was the best? Was it a phone call you got? Was it a was it a compliment or a comment one of your clients gave you? What could you say has been the highlight now that it's been a decade? Right. <laughs> uh, it's when uh, a few years back I won makeup artist of the year. Wow. I thought that was a great accomplishment and mm -hmm. recognition mm -hmm. by the industry. Mm -hmm. So yeah, apart from all these small little bits and pieces, that yes. was a nice wonderful public uh, recognition yes. that I felt okay apart from my little private moments with my clients mm -hmm. which you know you really feel fulfilled yes. that was a good one out there. Okay, now that you've mentioned client and your best moment, congratulations by the way on the award. As much thank as you. belated, belated congratulations. <laughs> thank you, okay, accept. Thank you. And um, let's talk about your worst day or your clients. Have you ever had a client that was just difficult? How do you deal with a difficult client? I'll say the one that's just, just popped in my mind. Mm -hmm. It's probably my worst. Mm -hmm. I had um, I had a client who was gifted mm -hmm the um, my services mm -hmm. by their friend mm -hmm. so at, so she really didn't want mm -hmm. uh, it was 
makeup for her wedding mm-hmm. and uh, I think she had someone else in mind uh-huh. so we did her wedding day makeup mm-hmm. um, mostly I like to do the bride last mm-hmm. so we just we just take so our that time. You can take your time yeah. yes mm-hmm. so all her maids were there cheering her and mm-hmm. every time she looked in the mirror she 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 just didn't like it I oh. felt so terrible that on her big day uh-huh she's going to walk around not confident not didn't like her makeup not feeling beautiful yes but mm. um afterwards they they came back to me and said they liked it but through, throughout the day i had a really bad day mm. they said they liked it and it's because they were going through something mm-hmm. and um they actually had a personal tiff with the person that gifted them so that's ah. Oh, they're just okay. trying to be <laughs> difficult <laughs> but uh-huh. that was that was a really terrible day before i got the feedback mm-hmm. um i can't think of any other for, for the sake of time <laughs> 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 no it's okay uh, but yeah, but it's good for people at home to see here that there are challenges oh there are very the many challenges there's nothing like it's just shiny and clean the whole time there's going to be bad days and there's also going to be good days yes. you know when yes. you're acknowledged um okay i think it's about time we conclude this segment right. but if people wanted to uh, to get your services where can they find you, you now that you've seen her instagram page where can they find you i i am a f- I, I freelance so i have a studio in upper hill Mm-hmm. Uh, if you send me an email or my contact information is on my social media, mm-hmm. we can always plan an appointment. It's by appointment. And um, I come, I go to my clients, mm-hmm. so I, I do a lot of house calls. Mm-hmm. And uh, on social media, I, I have a Facebook page and an Instagram page, as we have, mm-hmm. go- we have just <laughs> have seen. seen. <laughs> and it's, it's Beauty page. by D. <laughs> Beauty uh-huh. by D on uh, Facebook and Beauty by D mm-hmm. with three underscore Beauty underscore by underscore D on Instagram. So let's talk, let's engage, you continue the conversation. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. Mm-hmm. And you have very lovely teeth, by the way. I forgot to mention. <laughs> oh, I, say a lovely I think smile. I, I smile a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you have lovely teeth. Thank anyway, you. Um, as a parting shot, um, what keeps you going? I have big dreams. Mm-hmm. I have this big picture of how I want to end, where I want to end up. Uh-huh. And even on very difficult days, mm-hmm. I just have to be like, you know, just remember mm-hmm. where you're going. Because mm-hmm. there are so many challenges and difficult days mm-hmm. um but that big picture mm-hmm. is is my motivation it's my oh, driving force thank you thank you very much so uh, i think you. of the big picture when <laughs> life is difficult <laughs> somewhere think of the dreams and where you'd like to to go thank you so much dorothy come up thank you for having me thank you yes have a beautiful day and uh yes i think it's about time i also wish you a beautiful day i'm also about to tap out i'm hilda wadidi please do not go anywhere joy mochache will be coming up next